What's up my dudes and welcome back to Daily Diecast. Today is a very special day because I have my very first Auto World trucks to crack open. We got four Auto World trucks and actually one green light as well from the Detroit Speed Inc. set and I am super excited. I can't wait to crack these open. So let's just jump right into the video with this one right here. Now I'm going to go in, uh, well this is uh, limited edition. I mean, not really. There's 19,500 of them. So we're going to go, you know, with, uh, the, you know, from biggest to smallest. But uh, first of all, this is the first one I've ever had. So let's look at the card. Here we go. I guess it's from a set called Muscle Trucks. Beautiful. Love these. A little bit of facts right there. Card looks really nice. Let's take a look at the back. Very cool. Really, really nice. Let's see, is there a year on these? Because I honestly don't know. I think that's from this year, I, I'm thinking. I really don't know. I don't see any year back here. If you do, let me know in the comments, but I don't see one. Oh, wait, there we go. 2020. So it's probably this year. They usually copyright stuff the year before they release it. So let's go ahead and crack it open. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, they do a good job of packaging it. Wow. This is sick. Very nice. Heavy casting. Realistic tires and rims. Badging as well. Very, very cool. Very nice black paint. I don't think this one has anything. Oh, it does have opening parts. Look at that. It's got a uh, tailgate. Pops down. Very nice. It's got an Arizona plate, if I'm not mistaken. Tail lights look really nice. No side view mirrors on this one, I noticed. Kind of strange. The grill looks nice. Let's see. Is the hood open? I hope it does. Yeah, there we go. Let's get some more light over here. Got some detail there. Very cool. Yeah, this is a really nice truck. I am digging this big time. Nice trim around the windows. Everything about it is just so nice. Nice rubber tires, of course. It is metal on metal, as I'm sure you guys know. Very nice. Let's see how it rolls. Just want to be careful with it. But yeah, it rolls really nice. It's so heavy, too. It just wants to keep going. <laughs> awesome. That is a great truck. All right, next one up. Uh, let's see. This one's pretty similar. This one, see, this one, uh, there's only 16,900 of these ones. Same truck, I'm pretty sure. It's the 82 Chevy Silverado. The other one was an 81. Okay, so this is a, a year model change. Very cool. Let's see if the back is any different. All kinds of goodies. Collect all six in the 2021 release. So yeah, 2021. Awesome. Oh, this one's got a red interior. Yeah, let's go ahead and crack this open. And set it free. If you're new to my channel, uh, I mostly do Hot Wheels and Matchbox, uh, so this is really my first endeavor into Auto World, and already I am very impressed. These are very cool. Nice trim, nice realistic wheels and tires. Beautiful. 1982. Also, a drop down tailgate. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, there's a difference. A single and a, a stacked headlight. Gorgeous. Yeah, you see the red interior? It's a little more light. Oh, it's so sick. Well done, Auto World. Let's see if the engine has any differences. It does. It does not have the orange block. This time it's just blacked out. So sick. Wow. Awesome, awesome. In fact, let's put these back there with the stuff open. Let's take that look so cool. Awesome. All right, next one up. Look at the bow. Now we got a 76 Chevy C10. It's got some dust on it. Also for muscle trucks. And this one, there's only 11,000. 
And a little bit of details there if you want to check that out. Let's look at the back really quickly. So I guess it was 2019 right off the back, now that I know where to look. Or maybe it's 2020? Well, it tells you both. So collect all 2019 and the 2020. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. What matters is that we're cracking it open right now. Oh, yes. This time we got some white walls. More beautiful rims and tires. Another red interior. Details for days. Oh, beautiful. Another drop down tailgate. White and red this time. Oh, beautiful. Very, very nice. This time we got another orange block. Wow, like these are just so heavy and you can just feel the quality. Absolutely awesome. Got to love those. All right, next one up. It's awesome. Miho Exclusive Special Edition 73 Cheyenne. And this time there's only 4,800 of them. So a bit more rare, the Sunoco Tampos. Let's take a look at the back. Feel free to pause if you want to read that good stuff. And this time around, I'm gonna have to use some scissors. So let me do that off camera and I'll be right back. All right, and here we go. There it is. Beautiful slam stance. Awesome paint work, uh, probably Tampos, I'm pretty sure. Look at all those awesome sponsors. Got Goodyear on the tires. Beautiful. Now this time it says Miho exclusive <laughs> on the license plate. Got number seven, lucky number. Yellow bumper, flip down tailgate, number seven right there. Oh my gosh, see the sevens on the headlights? <laughs> Ridiculous. Damn, that is so sick. Wow, let's see if the color the, the block is this time. Another orange one. And a black interior. So amazing. Really love these trucks. It really doesn't get any better than those. <laughs> those are just ridiculous. All right, and the last one up is that green light I was talking about. So this one's from uh, Detroit Speed Inc. Series 2, I guess. This one's kind of a beater, which I think is neat. It says limited edition, but this one does not tell me how many there are. There's all the other vehicles. It's also from 2021, brand new one. And this one I will also uh, crack open off screen. Be right back. All right, here we go. And yes, this one is very nice as well. Looks like a long bed, which I'm definitely cool with. One of my trucks is a long bed. Uh, my 95, 2500. Here we go. Yeah, very nice. More very realistic uh, rims. Now, these, this time, it's a little bit off. I've heard that about green light though. I've heard they don't roll as well and that their tires are sometimes kind of wonky. Oh yeah, it doesn't roll at all. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, but it's all right. I had no intention of, you know, like rolling these down a track or anything. But yeah, it's all nice and rusty. Got a cool patina. It would be good in the junkyard diorama. I want to build one someday. I'd love to build a whole like town diorama with cars and everything. Nice tail lights. Yeah, that rust looks really good. Oh yeah, the grill looks really nice as well. Really, really good. This time we got the windows rolled up. Black interior. Let's see, I think the hood opens. Or maybe not. Nope. The hood is a separate piece, but it does not open. That's surprising. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm gonna break it, but yeah, that does not open. But it doesn't matter. It's still a very nice casting. Very cool. Yeah, green light's cool, but Auto World, you know, it's 
is just a, a little bit beyond if you ask me. All right, you guys, that was the video. Thank you very much for hanging with me on my very first Auto World and Green Light experience. And it was a great experience. These trucks are absolutely nuts and they've actually inspired me. I'm going to start a whole new Plano wall just for my uh, other die casts such as Auto World and Green Light. And also Johnny Lightning. I have a couple of Johnny Lightning cars in, but I'm waiting to get some more so I can do a whole video just with Johnny Lightning. I uh, will never give up on Hot Wheels. That was my childhood toy of choice and it's, it's just my favorite by far. But uh, I got to admit, these Auto World trucks, that yeah, they're absolutely phenomenal. And I again, I'm inspired. Yeah, I'm gonna when I build my entire diecast room, I'm gonna do one wall Hot Wheels, one wall Matchbox, and my third wall is going to be uh, miscellaneous like Auto World, Green Light, Johnny Lightning, etc. And then uh, the other wall is of course. Uh, going to be where my desk is. But yeah, I, I'm inspired. These are awesome. I'm in a great mood. These are so cool. Which one of these is your favorite? Which is your least favorite? Do you guys have any of these? And what's your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new here, my name is J-Dog and I post diecast videos all the time. And if that's your thing, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video and I'll catch you dudes next time.